Hello, my crafty friends. This is Lori Girl on the Ridge. I have finished a Gabriella, who's very big, very big. She's over 100 pages, eight and a half by six, three inch spine, all coffee dyed paper. She just, I had one um, cover, I had to rip it apart because I had a small spine and it just wasn't working. So, this is not a writing journal. This is probably take things out and uh, write on them and put them back in stuffing journal there is you know I have seam binding goes underneath this and it wraps around I used TLC creates vintage her so on and so forth and when they were young beautiful paper collection I'll link that below also embellishments from a tattered dream um, like this green really pretty sorry silk so we'll, we'll get into it this is gabriella she is one of three the youngest she has two sisters um this little dominoes represents how much she loved playing dominoes with her papa they grew up <clears throat> um on a horse breeding farm that's what her papa did and her mama would so she was a seamstress for all the ladies in town so she would make beautiful dresses gabriella was the young quite younger from her sisters so her sisters not were mean to her but they didn't really play with her a lot so Ga gabriella was always straggling behind and um, they would always play in their mama's sewing room and there's all, Gabriella, just right from when she was little, she would gather all these little pieces of lace and trim that were left over from projects that her mama would do. Um, she would tended to go play with her cousin Albert and James. And this is from when they were young, her cabinet cards. Very awesome. So she would play in the stream and she would collect birds and bugs. And she would do all the things because when her sister's always complained it was too hot and she couldn't understand why they she they wouldn't come down to the creek and just put their feet in the water but that was that was just a buck they couldn't do that so these were again the cabinet cards and they would collect birds this is a little bag and they would even ride the goats the boys did everything and gabriella just tagged along and she was fun to be around <clears throat> that was part of her mama's sewing room and her and her cousin James would be always underneath the machine and when they were pretending that it was a big ship and they were um, sailing it Gabriella would pick up uh, again more laces and she'd make a hat out of some of the patterns that her mama had and this was just all the pretty trim and this was the wallpaper of Gabriella's room she was spoiled. She was her papa's favorite, but papa would never admit it. She was probably like the boy he never had because she was into all that. This was actually a tea bag, but it was a little bag that her grandma had given her mama and her mama had given to her with seeds in it for little daisies. And I just made it a little sewed on the little um, tea bag and I made a little snippet there. Gabriella was a dreamer. She was had big. She was gonna. She was gonna take over the breeding of the horses, and she was. She was gonna be successful someday. So that was her dream. That's a little pocket in the garden. They had some big gardens because that was the other. They would farm and sell it to the store in town. This was her papa. He was so debonair to Gabriella. He was everything. And that was her mama. Unfortunately, Papa had a riding accident and left him when Gabriella was young. Well, she was 17, young. <clears throat> and poor Mama, she just she just lost it. She just couldn't get it together. So poor Gabriella had to step up. This is more of Gabriella's room. She had a very pretty girly room, but she liked to, to work on the farm. So and there's more flowers and for the gardening. 
This is the bag. So when they went into Papa's office and found a note that he had on her 18th birthday, which was the following week, had betrothed Gabriella to Devlin St. James because Papa had left a lot of gambling debts. So in order to save the farm, she had to marry this man, and she was not happy. She was so upset. Papa, why would you do that to me? But we know it's all going to work out. So, that was more of the pretty, pretty paper. Very grungy. <clears throat> and the flowers. So, time was moving on, and poor Gabriella did not want to marry Devlin St. James at all. She never even met him. But he was also a horse breeder. And... And this is just one of Terry Woods' fold up and a little butterfly. And there's Gabriella. <clears throat> She'd wished to have had a wedding to somebody that she loved, but those were her happier times when her cousin James would teach him how to play dice, which girls weren't supposed to do anyway, but they did. And the butterflies and just sewed some sorry silk from had a dream. And this is all the trim from her mama's tablecloths and stuff. So Gabriella knew she was going to, no matter what, she was going to train and raise horses. She was going to just do it. She was just not going to be told that she can't do it. And also keep, keep the farm going with all the vegetables. This is Tsunami Rose. So she finally met Devlin St. James, and he was, just start, stopped her heart. He was so gorgeous. But he was kind of prim and proper and wanted her to manage the house and just appalled that she would even think about working on the horses. So she was going to win him over. So they got engaged, and they had the... The ranches actually were combined, but he was out of the town, or out, didn't live there a lot of the time, so she never met him. So that was the, the ground, some of the grounds. So she would, in the middle of the night, early in the morning, she would go out to the stables, and she'd get her horse, and she'd take off, and he was just, he just couldn't believe it. So he would follow her, and then they'd end up going for a nice ride. This is a tuck spot with an envelope for Gabriella to put all her goodies and more um, grung really grungy cards and just a flip up. So that's just a little with more lace. So she did that quite a bit. She was going to go um, riding without a chaperone whenever she wanted to. And he would have to get used to it. So eventually he made a point. He'd wait in the corner of the stable and knew she would go for her midnight rides. Because that's what she liked to do, to think. And he would join her. So, <laughs> that, there was a little, he finally gave in to that. So, her sisters were also, um, they were, they had to get married off. So, they were gone. And Gabriella just turned into a young, beautiful woman. And this was her, just some little tags and her gardening. That's from a femoir. And she she was a lady, she, but she also was going to work in the farm and they or on in the ranch, and uh, they kept fighting about it. She believed she could, so she did. And this is still her sewing um, book. So Devlin was quite handsome, and he liked to look at the ladies. You know, he thought they were very pretty, but he soon he was definitely falling in love with Gabriella. And that was more of how she wanted her room. She she definitely liked a lot of girly things. And fixing her dolls and stuff. Her mother, she was very, she was a very good seamstress herself. And this was just some notes from her sisters. This is Nectar Creation, I believe. Some more pink. And a date. Date's coming around. They're having their um, engagement announcement party. And this is more of a, 
I want to say this was Artie Mays. Not 100% sure. Tag with some grungy material I just made up. And her sister's getting ready. And now when Devlin took Gabriella to get her dress fitted for their, their announcement, um, he want, he didn't want his his um, wife to have anything low cut. So he wanted the neckline quite high. And poor Gabriella and the seamstress kind of argued with him that that's not the latest fashion. And these are all from Tsunami Rose. This is from the TLC Creates Vintage. Really, really pretty. That's just paper I had. And there's her... She was definitely going to ride horses when she wanted. It's more of the seamstress. So when they picked out her dress, the seamstress, they just, they were just kept looking at each other. This poor girl's got this high neck and she's going to be the, just the laughing stock of the ball. So when poor Gabriella got at home, she went right to her mother's sewing room and she cut down the neckline and made it lower than she would even like, but she was going to prove a point that she was going to wear what everybody else was going to wear. So when she entered the ball, she had a cloak on. That's when she was a little girl. She just loved to sew. And there was just all different just snippets that she collected from the floor and stuff. She loved to pick that stuff up. So she entered the ball. She had this cloak on. And Devlin greeted her. And then when she took the cloak off, his poor guy draw, jaw dropped to the floor. But she was just, she put her head up high and she walked into the room. And after that, he never let her out of her sight. He danced every dance with her and he really realized how much he loved her. And that nobody else better even look at her. <laughs> so they were, they were getting along quite well. So this was just some memories that she had. This was Mr. Winchester. At the mercantile, her and her cousins would go down there and um, get their penny candy. So she really loved that memory. And this is also when they were young from the TLC Crates Vintage. This is Artie Mays, their coffee. They used to go and get up the coffee for mom all the time. And playing Ring Around the Rosie. She did have a wonderful childhood. And she wants to obviously have kids with Devlin and create another family. And she still, she's going to sew. She kind of gave in. She'll still help raise the horses, but she is, she loves her sewing. So she will take over like what her mama had done. And this is a little Tiffany envelope that I made. It's an envelope and you turn it over and take the um, paper clip out. And in the envelope is a postcard. And then a little ledger so she can keep track of her sewing customers. And then just, again, this is in my mind. You do whatever you want. And then just paper for all her, um, her dresses and what have you. So that goes in there. And this is a little snippet that I made. Like I said, this book just got so out of hand. And it just flips up, and there's a little tuck there, but I really had to stop. And this is all, this was um, a piece of um, tablecloth that her and her mama made. And, and then some lace curtains. And it just kind of slips in there. And then another little, little notebook with some lace and some trim. And a stamp, I, a new stamp I got with luggage. I absolutely love it. And just some tags and some tags with pattern paper. So that is my big fat journal. And it will be listed in my Etsy. And I have a couple of TN style books I'm working on. And I will be doing some more um, little golden books. So thanks for watching. You guys have a nice rest of the Sunday. And we'll see you soon. Bye.